Hello, flatties and globe defenders. It's a critical thing from now on under. And you know how I love watching ships go over a curve. I just can't help myself. I go out to the seaside and that's what I see. I get my P900 out there and I don't know. I just can't make it look flat no matter how hard I try. Those ships just keep going over the curve. And I'm sorry, flatties. I know it's a little bit disturbing, but maybe you need to consider the possibility that we may, in fact, live on a globe. So the scenario in this video is um, observing a ship running roughly parallel to the shore. There's the shoreline there. If you're standing on the shore, the horizon will form a semicircle around you and you it will be level all around on that semicircle. There is no lateral curve as I've described in uh, other, another video. But however, what you will see when a ship sails in front of you are roughly parallel, the ship will be a Above the horizon in this section and will be below the horizon in this section so while there isn't you cannot see a lateral curve because the horizon is at the same distance away from you in a circle the ship will be seen to go below the curve as it sails out of that circle so that is the way you can see side to side curve um, not directly but because there's an object sailing uh, past you okay so the location is at Bribey Island because the shipping channel for the port of Brisbane is there is a shipping channel that goes roughly parallel to that and I'm at the beach at Wurim and the first I've briefly observed from this point here which is uh, nine meters above no elevation nine meters and then I went down to the beach and obviously it was uh, low, uh, low tide at the time uh, of this picture was taken when the tide was a little bit higher obviously and then the ships you can tell this one ship that I observed INL Walwa and traveling in that direction you can see is a pretty much parallel path uh, outside from Urim and there's the shipping channel and then there was another ship coming the other way diamond grat or however you might pronounce that and another ship coming the other way nauma and so when i went down to the beach this was how i put my camera and you can see ship in the distance and my camera so that's the setup now we'll get on with the pictures here's a short video from the first location which is roughly nine meters above sea level we have a nice view very clear view of the ship you can see that the from our this height the ship is not over the horizon Nice bow wave there. No layer, refraction layer visible at this point, although it may be beyond the ship. So here's the picture from my first location. Um, and you can see that the ship is not quite over the horizon. It's Saturday, 14th of July, 1.58 p.m. 
and this location is at Bribey Island and where I've given you the location before. Now at this point in time the particular vessel was at this location which is up in the right hand corner. I've mapped that location to uh, in Google Maps and I've measured the approximate distance to where I was standing for that one 6.69 kilometers and we're nine meters high up and so no there's no ship beyond the horizon and that's verified in the photo and by the calculations now the second photo is from down on the beach so I've changed to go down on the beach on the second location I've indicated at this particular point in time the location for that vessel was given there again I've put it into Google Maps and measured the distance to my beach location and that's 4.74 miles away six foot above gives us a hidden somewhere around one to two feet which is um, reasonably close to what we see in the photo there is a little bit of a inferior inferior mirage there um, so you can see the boats almost touching the water there so that's pretty close to what we expect now I'm going to play a video I took from the uh, ship the video goes on for quite a while I'm not going to play the whole thing I'm just going to play the highlights so to speak so there is some miraging going on in when this video was taken now you can see at the, when we get a picture of the water line there's a mirror line about there there and the top of the, the visible water there is dancing around quite a bit which um, shows the reflection effects there so that's you can see that mirroring there there's a small amount so we follow the ship down it's moving along the coast further away from us and it's starting to get lower in the water and we'll move along a bit you can see it's starting to sink into the water some more that's uh, going over the curve and we'll just fast forward this until it gets a little bit more interesting and this mirror line here you can see on the back of the ship there and moving forward let's see the view on the back of the ship is changing getting lower and lower I, there's something that went by there I'm not really sure what that was but something went by in the background and the disturbance in the air is making the picture look a bit fuzzy and you can see that inversion layer the inferior mirage mirror line as some people call it 
so there we've come across another ship I'll see if I can bring that one back into view there so that's another ship that I've that is you can see uh, most of the ship is missing beyond the curve um, there's a mirror line around about there uh, that's never going to hide the whole ship and we'll come along here a little bit further that ship's going to become more visible as time goes on it's a smaller boat it's a little bit more visible of that ship now and I'm going to pan around the whole horizon so you can see that it's actually looks flat all around as expected but the ship there is over the curve and so is the other ship As it gets further away, it gets deeper. As this ship comes closer, it comes uh, further out of the water. And you can see more of the sh that ship. And we can only see the containers now on that one. And this one starts to become more visible. And there's that mirror layer on the water today. So after taking that video, I got a couple of shots over the water. And this particular one is um, of Caloundra. I can tell it's Caloundra because of A, the direction, but more importantly, there's a very significant building here. Now, I've this is a bit of mirroring and I'm going to put in the line. Now, the actual, as I've described in my previous video, the actual horizon is where that line is. Um, because it's just the reflection off the water or in the layer of air just above the water. You can see little tufts of water here and there, uh, which indicates that that's not a hard horizon there. So this building is uh, 16 floors. I'll show you that in a minute. So we can, we've got about eight showing to there. So we got, this line is roughly at ground level for that building now here's the building uh, it's a very distinctive building in Caloundra it's the uh, highest building in Caloundra and the elevation is 37 meters of ground level there and here's another picture of the building looking back towards Bribey Island where I was now I've taken uh, Google Maps again and there's the building there and I've measured the distance from my position. It says it's 19.6 miles, 30.68 kilometers and put those numbers into the earth curve calculator and we have get a uh, hidden somewhere between 40 and 50 meters. And the building is 37 meters roughly above sea level, so that is very close, very, very close. Okay, globe proved again. And here's a picture of the ship that we saw moving away from the camera after that video was shot. I took some still shots and the 
a mirror line is around about there along the ship the time is 2 23 p.m and i've looked at the position of the ship at that time which is around about this 26 and then i've plotted that position on on the map and and looked at the distance to my position that's 16.97 kilometers then we work out hidden is somewhere between 9 and 12 meters and so i've taken a uh, cut out a container out of the ship there these containers are 12.2 meters in length i've turned it on its side and this is where the 12.2 meters is there which is about the spot that the ship is cut it's hard to see exactly but it is around about the right area so the earth curvature calculator seems to be getting a fairly predictable result it's not always exact but um, that's because of number of factors we don't necessarily measure exactly but these this these are uh, uh, correspond very closely to the expected curvature and there's a series of pictures here i've taken some still shots from my video just to see the progression of this particular ship as it emerges from beyond the horizon and here we go uh, you can see more and more of the ship as it comes out and there's another ship the other one I mentioned behind the horizon starting to emerge and it emerges out as well and the original ship is disappearing over the horizon more and more of it missing until only the bridge remains and I'll the, I do have a lot of information but it's going to it would take a long time to present it so I've picked the best information and I'm going to leave you with a little video and it's a short one thanks for watching if you like my videos please push the like button and please subscribe Thanks very much.